Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the South. More specifically, we are in Tampa, Florida, and even more specifically than that, we are here at Bush Gardens. Now, last night, we were at SeaWorld, attending their Howl, Howl O Scream event. Well, when I went to purchase tickets, they actually offered a double ticket. I think it was about $80. You can do SeaWorld, you have a ticket, get a ticket for SeaWorld's Howl O Scream, and then you also get a ticket for Bush Gardens Howl O Scream. And I have done this event before, so I figure we'll do the different Howl O Screams, see what the different events offer, see how they stand up against one another. I've had a good time here in the past at uh, Bush Gardens Halloween events, so please follow me. Getting ready to enter through these two towering 12 foot tall Home Depot skeletons. And I'll tell you what, 12 feet, is, it, 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 it's taller than you think. Try setting one up in your living room. As we enter through this front, front section, the, the spooky music just started. That means we are on for the night. Just noticing a pig man over here sporting the uh, Howlow Scream t-shirt. Also a man whose face is just bloody burlap. I noticed over here they've added a much larger fence to the uh, to the alligator enclosure. Last time I was uh, here, it wasn't. I don't know if it was the day I was here, but within a few days of me visiting here last time, some idiot had uh, jumped over the fence to uh, get, get selfies with the alligators. And of course, ruining it for everyone. Now they have to put a much larger fence over that to make the alligators idiot proof. See some of the gators right there, having a very happy Halloween. And they do have some Moldomatics here at uh, Howlow Scream. Now I do own the Standing Frankenstein, but I think they may have, uh, they may have at least one new one that I've not previously gotten. Uh, from Hollow Scream. All right, entering this first scare zone here. Hey, buddy! This is a Sin City Zombie, so a Las Vegas themed scare zone. Got a few cockroaches there on your head. So got a sack of money. Oh, hey, hey there. <laughs> oh, no, zombie help. <laughs> oh, no, he wants a peanut butter and banana. Yeah, peanut butter and brain sandwich. Oh yeah, look at this. It's like a old uh, Vegas hotel. I uh, just got back from Vegas not too long ago. This is pretty cool. Oh, that's amazing. Right here, hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, <laughs> oh this is really, this is a lot of fun. Oh, 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 oh. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we got this uh, seedy, CD hotel here. Here's the bellhop. Hey, what's that? What do you got? What do you got in your face? Got some cards and some some poker chips. That's pretty amazing. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey there. Oh, a magic trick. <laughs> zombie magic tricks. Very nice. Oh, good zombie. Good magic. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Oh, look at this. This car here has a uh, plastered. Looks like it's like run through like an entire crowd of people. Oh, it's another dead Elvis there on the top. What's this? The Graceland Wedding Chapel? Oh, you trying to you trying to get in there and get married? <laughs> oh yeah, you got your bachelorette having your bachelorette party. Oh no, you're out of you're out of blood. Oh, this is a lot of fun right here. Can I just put a public service announcement out here? Because this, this, this for some reason just drives me a little crazy. This is like, this is my big actually. Route 66 does not run through Las Vegas. Please, please, it does not. You even go through Vegas and they'll be selling Route 66 merch. End the madness. Not, it is not part of Las Vegas. Look at 
that. The card stuck right in the face there. Oh yeah, look at this plane wreck right outside of uh, Sin City here. Also have a, a red skull there. A red skull for Hollow Scream. I have quite a few of these skulls. I do love, uh, do love the skulls. Oh, and look at this. Some sort of giant wicker monster there. Spewing, uh, spewing fog. Oh, here's something real spooky. A big, giant, sleeping tortoise. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's not scared of nothing. He's just, he's, he's fast asleep. And over here, we have the devil head. Now again, I have quite a few of the devil, although he does look, he does look nice in, uh, does look nice in yellow. Another Moldomatic over here. This one, okay. This has got the head version of Frankenstein. Interesting, they have both versions of Frankenstein, the full body Frankenstein and just the head. Very cool, big, wide variety of Frankensteins. Two super spooky skeletons right there. They look creepier with the eyeballs, I think. And this is not a Halloween mold. That's, the, that's one of the regular molds. You got your standard issue elephant mold there. Happy Halloween, Mr. Elephant. Maybe he's having a, uh, having a trunk or treat later. All right, I think it is time that we head inside one of the haunts here. This is the residence, home for the holidays. See someone on that sign actually wearing a Santa Claus hat. So I do love Christmas haunts. So I, I, so I, I love, I, I definitely love the idea of a Christmas haunt on Halloween. Let's check this out. In the car there with the Christmas tree. So we head into the, into the haunt here. Oh, look at the snowman. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh, I love this. Look at the penguins by the front door. Oh, what is that? Jeez. How's it? No, uh, 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 uh. Okay. Oh, hey. All right. Okay. Things about to get spooky in here. Oh, okay. It's a Christmas tree. There's dead corpses in the presence. A pig head on the baby. <laughs> Oh, jeez! Oh! Oh, Christmas dinner! Look at the elf on the shelf there. What are you making? Uh, You're making me? What's delicious? Honestly, it does not. That's horrifying. What's in here? Oh, the living room. Oh, what the heck is happening in here? Oh, no! Oh! Oh, whose bed is this? Oh, look at all these cords. That's not safe. That's not safe at all. Nasty toilet. Oh, it squirted me! Ah, who are you? I'm you, Oh, What? What? Oh, look at the elf. Oh, yeah, we're in this spooky, spooky bedroom. Some possum creatures. Get out! Okay, we're outside. Oh, who are you? Oh my! What? You better? It's a victim on. That's a victim right there. Santa. We're in a skeleton cave. Oh, what's that down there? An attack dog. All right. They are! Oh my god. Ah, oh, jeez! Oh no! Oh, the 
Chase, Chase saw Elf hiding in there. That was super fun. I love that. Oh man, that was great. I, I love. Like I said, I love. I'm a sucker for a Christmas haunt. And uh, yeah, even, even more fun during Halloween. Reminds you of Christmas, but still with the Halloween spirit to it. You know, I said I was going to give them up, but I just, uh, I just can't walk away. I can't, uh, I can't quit you, carousels. All right, since it's Halloween, let's find the spookiest animal you can possibly ride. Oh, there we go. There he is, the spookiest animal of them all. Because here on the Carpetbagger channel, the summer of carousels never ends. Carousels have a different vibe when they're playing that spooky music in the background. All right, so this roller coaster here, this is Scorpion. This was built in 1980. It is the oldest roller coaster in the park. When I was here early this summer, I actually didn't get a chance to ride this. So it looks like no, no, no line here currently for the Scorpion. So I guess we can uh, give it a ride here. Oh, here comes, here comes the Scorpion. Let's see what it does. It's got the one big loop-de-loo there. And look at this, no wait. You can head right to the front car. Oh, there we go. And it is time for a history lesson. Let's go all the way back to 1980 and see what it was like to ride a roller coaster. Oh, it's cool, got the front car here. Hang on. Here we go. Ooh, it's pretty pretty. It's time of night. Oh man, no. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I can't believe that went upside down. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh you can feel. You can feel all. <laughs> You feel all 43 years! <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness! There we go! Woo! All right, a lot of fun there. A lot of history. Definitely feel the years in there, but uh, pretty fun ride still. Oh, look at this. It's a wacky waving arm flailing tube man. I'm a little wacky. We're all a little wacky. Some more than others. <laughs> you keep you keep up the wacky waving there, Mr. Tube Man. Well yeah I will. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have yourself a wacky weekend. You too, you too have a wacky weekend. Woo! <laughs> Over here at Big Ed's Winter Circle, you actually have some of the ghouls joining you on the bumper cars. So, uh, yeah, I love this. I gotta check this out. Yeah, look at the, the two guys in here that look like look like villains from Mad Max. Oh my goodness! Yeah, watch out, you guys! Are the you guys are the scary uh, post-apocalyptic moments there. Oh, look at that, he's got some sort of weapon. Oh, he's like hitting people with a pipe. <laughs> All right, let's get us, get us a bumper car. Oh, look at that. See him stalking there, getting, oh yeah, he's getting saddled up. You hit me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was an accident, sorry. There we go. Woo! There we go. <laughs> it's like a post-apocalyptic bumper car showdown here. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh. What? Ah! Jump scared on a bumper car. What the heck? Oh, we got a traffic jam here. Gotta 
Oh man, bumper cars. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, he's so intimidating. <laughs> All right, gotta watch my my rear here. Oh, oh that guy got me. He got me good. Oh, he's got a weapon. Watch out. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Oh no! Now well, he gets out of the bumper car, things get serious. Oh my gosh. Oh, heavy metal, heavy metal tube van here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another Halloween mold there. That is the troll. I do have a few trolls already. Man, I, I just, I, I, you know, when I have the doubles, I do have to kind of stop myself because my, my, literally my home is just becoming a giant pile of, uh, of Moldavatic. So I, I, I try to limit myself to ones that I uh, don't already have. Or if it's in a really cool color that I don't have. <laughs> this actually is pretty cool, but, but no, 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 no. We, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pass this on. All right, this uh, scare zone is called the shortcut. So let's take a shortcut right down the middle. Oh. Oh, shovels. What are you drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> I'm him. Oh. Oh, look at a werewolf here. Don't leave us. Looks like we showed up just in time for Cirque Extreme. Let's let's check this out. I guess we enter over here. All right. Here we are at Cirque. Extreme. Oh wow, that's crazy. Never seen anything like that before. That's wild. Oh wow, we got the roller skate dancing there. Oh my goodness, the head scissors. That is quite a tower of chairs there. Oh look at that, with a handstand. Oh wow, space and fire twirling there. Two fire swords. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Oh wow, that is amazing, that's unbelievable. Look at that. Right, the next haunt is the Forgotten, presumably some sort of vampire themed haunt. All right, and in to the caverns. Oh, what is happening in here? Vampires are a pain in the neck. Hello. Yes, yes. Hey, that's a carpet bag. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> right, good luck. Do you know what you're up to? Oh, we're in the sewer? I guess he's a vampire hunter. Okay. <laughs> There's Mr. Vlad the Impaler, hero to all vampires. Oh my goodness, what is happening? What kind of what kind of a haunt is this? Oh my goodness. Oh look at this big bloody piano here, a vampire piano playing itself. Oh my gosh, who's this guy? He looks important. Oh my goodness, that's horrifying. Dripping into this mop bucket. Are those heads? 
it's starting to get a little busy here as we head through the uh, Raven's Mill. Hey, Scarecrow. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that mill. Oh, that's actually really spooky. I like that. Ah, I didn't know if you were a person or not. Oh, that got me a little. Don't jump scare me, I see you. Oh, look at this bridge here, dangling with pumpkin guts. Heading right into another scare zone beyond the veil. Oh, look at this demon right here. Hey, demon. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> I have your teeth. What, you have my teeth? I need my teeth. I eat teeth. You eat teeth. That's really creepy. <laughs> I have your teeth. No, I, I do need my teeth though. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. What's your name? My name is Jacob. Nice to meet you. Oh, I go tell Name Eater. You said I tell Name Eater? Someone that eats names? What even is going on here? My friend. Baby, baby. No touch fairy. Baby, baby. It's just a giant mouth. The fairy, You're the tooth fairy. Give me your teeth. <laughs> yeah, this scare zone is weird. Look at the, the mushrooms here. Giant mushrooms. Oh my goodness, look at that. Giant mouth creature. Oh my goodness. Hey! How are you? Oh my gosh! No screaming when I'm not paying attention. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Who are you? Oh, I'm the water. Oh, look at that tooth. Look at the jaw. Where do you get those big teeth? Molars, molars. Molars, molars. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, that was a lot of fun. This section of the park is closed right now, but uh, fingers crossed, maybe someday we'll get a Sesame Street scare zone. Here is the Coke Graveyard. Instead of a graveyard, it is a rave yard. Graveyard is where they keep stones and dead bodies, but here they're having a party known as a rave, but it's also a little spooky, like a graveyard is spooky, so they're calling it a rave yard. Yeah, you see back here, it's like a cemetery, like a graveyard, if you will, but they're playing rave music, transforming it successfully into a rave yard. You see the uh, skeleton DJ there, Spinning some uh, sweet records. Of course, flanked by dancers here. Different uh, dancers here in front of the rave yard. All right, next up is Witch of the Woods. Alright, heading into the woods. Oh my gosh, so much screaming. It's so obnoxious when people scream in haunted houses. Oh no, Some severed heads on sticks there. Some sort of ritual going on here. What is what's happening in those bushes? Got 
the jack-o-lantern here. I do have the jack-o-lantern. Man, normally I just have my, my uh, pockets full of uh, Moldomatics by now, but trying to, trying to pass the ones I don't have. I think there's still one more here somewhere that I don't have. Here they have some scary Oki. It's like karaoke, but it's scary. Actually, Freakenstein was the name of the doctor. Here's a scare zone that's more like an open air haunted house. The junkyard. Yeah, it looks like this clown animatronic here is about ready to be sent to the junkyard. The moon shining over top of us as we enter the junkyard. Hey, that's, that was the guy on the bumper car right there. Uh, hello. 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 Hi, Hi. Oh my gosh. Tower up there. Hey, wow. Settle down. got these uh, washers and dryers here. That one's got a skull in it. Someone is washing their giant 12 foot tall Home Depot skeleton. Oh my gosh, look who's up there. It's Mothman. Holy crap, Mothman is here at Butch Gardens. Oh my gosh, Mothman hovering over these laundry machines. I think this, this is my personal heaven right here. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hey there. Enjoying Mothman. Jacob! Oh no! Hey, how's it going? Get out! Okay. He knew me, but he wanted me out of here. Oh, look at this! It's giant Slenderman. The Mothman and Slenderman hidden here in the junkyard. Hey there. The clown. What's that big thing? Up there, you always see the old Bush Gardens road sign. Oh, that was fun. Sorry, I, I mark out whenever I see Mothman. And I just purchased this. This is Fanta question mark. Zero Sugar got the uh, little bat, the spider web on there. I wonder if this is grape. I, I don't know. I, I love uh, love the grape, uh, grape Fanta. I try to drink the Zero Sugar. I never see this, so uh, let's give this a try. Fanta, mystery Fanta. All right, I'm hoping this is this is great. I don't know what that is. Is that great? It's a mystery flavor. It says, "What is that?" Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to... Who's that guy? I can't place it. What is this? Leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> All right, see the word circus. It's enough to, uh, enough to get me in. Oh my gosh. You can see the iron guazi towering over us. The most terrifying moment of my life was when I was at the top of that hill there. Oh, yeah. All right, this is D.H. Bagum's Circus that we're headed into. Enjoy the show. Hey! Oh, look at this big lion cage right here. man there. Oh, what is happening here? Hello! Oh, the freak show here. Oh, hey. I'm not scared. Oh! What a freak, what a liar. Pay a quarter ahead or lose yours. Okay. Oh yeah, there's the lobster boy over there. A legend here in Florida. Look at this weird.
weird baby. Oh, hey! Oh, look, there's people in the audience. And there it is. The Bush Gardens, hollow scream and fitting with the last haunt we went into. There is the clown. Now the clown is an older mold, but I, I've never seen it actually in a machine. So uh, let's, let's make us a clown. All right, and send in the clown. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And there we have him. Oh, I do like I do like the clown. Like I said, I, I, I think I might have an antique clown somewhere, but uh, I've never never made one in a machine before. Very cool. No. Oh, I'm gonna get a slurp. Our final haunt of the evening, Stranglewood Estate. There it is, Stranglewood Estate, an epic facade there. It actually sits out all year round in the open. It's kind of an advertisement for Howl O Scream. All right, headed in to Stranglewood. Hope I don't get strangled. Oh, hello there. Who's that up there? Oh, what's that? Hey there. Oh. Creepy. Oh, wow! Oh, look at that guy. There's someone in that mirror. The important thing gonna say you. Stick around. I'll be your pal. I'll kill you anyway. Oh, there's the stepmother. There, that's been thin. What? She'll make her. Spooky toilet there. Yeah. Oh, it's blasting. Stand back. Cobra's Curse. Oh, I love this roller coaster. Yeah, let's, we're done with all the haunts. Let's hop aboard the Cobra's Curse. Now you can see Cobra's Curse there. That big snake overlooking the park. Super, super fun roller coaster. Grab your shovel. So we're heading on the Cobra's Curse. All right, and our chariot awaits. Look at that, there's a witch operating the ride up there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Go up the elevator here. Here we go. Up the elevator. Absolutely insane. All right. Right to the Cobra. There is no escape 
from the Cobra's curse. From the Cobra's curse. <laughs> Spinny part. Start twirling. Twirling, twirling. All our way towards freedom. Ah! Woo! Uh, look at the cobra there. Oh gosh! Blenderizing experience, especially in the dark. Like roller coasters in the dark, it's a whole different, whole different animal. Let's see the demon there projected on the rampart. That'll do, 12 foot tall Home Depot skeletons. That'll do. So thank you for joining me here tonight at Bush Gardens Howl O Scream. Got my uh, my Moldomatic clown here. And uh, yeah, a really great event. Um, I, I had a good time last night at SeaWorld, but I think it, to choose between the two Howl O Screams, I would definitely pick Bush Gardens. They have a really, really fun uh, event here and love some of the creativity here. The uh, the uh, Las Vegas zombies, lots of, lots of fun creative stuff uh, going on in uh, in these haunts. Uh, so thank you again. There's a lot, lot more spooky stuff coming up. I've got a lot of plans, some spooky stuff, maybe a few not so spooky things sprinkled in uh, as well. Uh, of course, if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe. I uh, travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, doing personalized messages on Cameo. And of course, all of those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.